Two items under our business services that required action today was a motion to move forward with a new auditing firm. We are combining with the city and working together for efficiencies and cost savings to do our audit together with a single firm and so there was a motion today to go with that. We will start this year and the city will start the following year with a new audit firm. And then additionally a resolution was passed for a bond to fund Two different projects, the capital projects that we're working on, the Sylvan Bay project that was going on uh, this last summer, as well as the industrial park water and sewer expansion um, out to the old Ainsworth site. And so we had a $4.75 million bond um, to fund those capital improvements. Again, that is together with the city. We go in on a geo revenue bond, and so it is backed by the city so that we can seek those lower interest rates. Um, but they are uh, supported and paid for by the revenue from the Grand Rapids Public Utilities. Uh, so those were both uh, part, or the bond for both of those projects is actually part of our five-year rate study. And so our rates that we are currently charging um, included bonding for those projects. And so we're right in line with that. Um, also, uh, the customer service uh, team has been working on different programs. As you may have heard last month, we talked about the cold weather rule in Minnesota is in effect until the end of April now. And so we've got various mechanisms to help those that need assistance in paying their utility bills over the winter. We've got a Grand Rapids Public Utilities Caring Fund that is administered through the Community Foundation. We also have Kutaska and various assistance programs through the state. So please reach out to our CSRs at 326-7024 if you are having a hard time paying those bills so that you can avoid disconnection. Um, and then at the end, we wrapped up with a department head presentation from Steve Matson. talked a lot on water and wastewater, talked a lot about our jetting program. That's our sanitary sewer jetting program. We revamped here a couple of years ago to really dig in and, and take a hard look at um, the cleanliness of those sanitary sewer pipes um, to eliminate any backup and root intrusion and things like that. And so Steve gave a presentation on that and what the sequence is and some new insurance programs that we'll be looking to do here in 2025 that will help us reduce that liability for any possible sewer backups. He also gave a schedule on our upcoming water treatment plant renovation project. Again, we got a bond or a grant, I'm sorry, from the state of Minnesota for two and a half million dollars. And so we'll be starting in on that project um, in 24 and it will probably run through 26 um, on various renovations to bring that water treatment plant that's currently 35 years old up to um, new efficiency standards, um, better technology, better pumps, things like that. So no um, significant infrastructure changes, no new buildings and, and things like that, really just an internal rehaul of that outdated facility. With that, our next regular meeting is November 8th. Have a great month. Thanks.